In space, a lot of interesting things happen that we don't fully understand yet. Sometimes objects from other star systems pass by our Earth. These objects are special because they come from far away, beyond our own solar system, bringing with them secrets from distant parts of space. When one of these objects enters Earth's atmosphere, it's a big deal for scientists because it gives them a rare chance to study material from other parts of the universe. These interstellar objects, or space rocks from other systems, are like messengers from far away. They give scientists a chance to learn more about space and what it's like beyond our solar system. Each one can teach us something new and help answer big questions about space and life out there. Studying these objects not only helps us learn more about space, but also reminds us just how big and mysterious the universe is. By learning more about these visitors from other star systems, we keep pushing the limits of what we know and continue to explore the unknown parts of space. This ongoing interest in interstellar visitors highlights our curiosity and eagerness to understand more about the universe around us. Each time we encounter one of these objects, it's like finding a hidden treasure that could tell us more about other planets, stars, and galaxies. These discoveries keep scientists busy and excited because every new piece of data helps us to build a clearer picture of our universe. It's a reminder that there's so much out there that we have yet to explore and understand. The year is 2014. A guest from beyond our solar system is Earthbound, and everyone on Earth is absolutely clueless. Back on our planet, life is going on as usual, when suddenly, a meteor believed to have been about two feet long enters Earth's atmosphere at more than 100,000 miles an hour before exploding into tiny, hot fragments that scatter and fall into the South Pacific Ocean. The object wasn't all that big, just a meter or so across, but its significance is massive. An interstellar material delivered to Earth that hopefully now lies dormant in the depths of our waters. That then makes it only the third such object known, after Oumuamua and Borisov to enter Earth's orbit and the first known to exist on Earth. Launching an undersea expedition to find it would be a long shot, but the scientific payoff could be enormous. Every day the Earth receives up to 50 metric tons of meteors, most of which burns up in the atmosphere, but the ones that don't burn up are no bigger than a pebble, and that's why none truly pose a threat to life. Then what is so special about this one from 2014? You see, what is so notable about this meteor is the very high speed and unusual direction at which it encountered our planet. Such a speed is not possible if it was bound by the sun's gravity well. But if no one was tracking it, then how do we know it was coming at us at such a high speed? Sensors on a classified US government satellite designed to detect foreign missile launches were the sole known witnesses to the fireball. When scientists calculated its trajectory and speed, they realized that it had come from interstellar space, unusual high speed and direction of a space rock. Does it remind you of another interstellar visitor that defied physics? If Oumuamua comes to your mind, then you are not alone. What is amazing here is that the information about the asteroid was not immediately made public by the government. It took the two researchers, Avi Loeb and Amir Siraj, three years to have the government accept the origin of the interstellar object and make it public. The story starts in April 2019, when Avi Loeb was eight months into the study of data of Oumuamua, which was then considered to be the first interstellar visitor to the solar system. Now here is an information that you would want to hold on to. Oumuamua was traveling through our solar system at a blistering speed of 87.3 kilometers per second, at Earth's distance from the Sun, any object moving faster than about 42 kilometers per second is in an unbounded hyperbolic orbit relative to our star, meaning that it is too speedy to be captured by the Sun's gravity. Anything traveling faster than this local celestial speed limit may come from, and if unobstructed, should return to interstellar space. Having studied Oumuamua, Loeb knew that there must be other interesting objects in NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies catalog and approached his student Amir Siraj with it. Within days, Siraj had identified the 2014 meteor as a potential interstellar meteor candidate 
as the object had a speed closer to 60 kilometers per second before entering Earth. This was going to change everything. If the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies data, which is composed of independently verified data from the scientific community, were correct, the meteor would dethrone Oumuamua to become the first interstellar object to visit not just our solar system, but also Earth. They submitted a paper on it to be peer-reviewed, but it was turned down, and the scientific community declined to formally designate Cineos 2014-0108 as an interstellar object. This was the case because the data used to calculate the meteor's impact on Earth was gathered by a U.S. Department of Defense satellite, and revealing the precise values of the measurement of the object became a closely guarded secret because the U.S. military refused to disclose the capabilities of their satellite to the world. Dejected, Avi Loeb and Siraj moved on to other projects. However, the story doesn't end there. If anything, it has only begun. Thanks to a partnership between the Department of Defense and NASA, three years later, in 2022, the data describing the event eventually were shared on a public database, along with data for more than 900 other fireballs recorded by U.S. government sensors between 1988 and the present day. The 2014 meteor is now officially the first known object originating from outside our solar system, and its fragments are buried deep inside our waters. Intriguing, isn't it? That's what Prof Loeb and Siraj think too. In fact, Loeb even believes that the object might, and that's a big might, be a piece of alien technology, and that's why he's planning an expedition to retrieve the object from the floor of the Pacific Ocean. Loeb said that the report released by the Department of Defense showed the light curve of the explosion of this object, which revealed that it had material strength tougher than iron, and it was tougher than all the other space rocks that the U.S. government identified over the past decade, about 272 of them. So it must have been something unusual, definitely not the same as the rocks we find in the solar system, much tougher than that. While Loeb believes aliens exist or have existed somewhere in the universe, he doesn't think actual contact with biological creatures will happen. Instead, he argues UFOs, including objects like Oumuamua, are most likely alien probes powered by artificial intelligence potentially even surviving relics of long-dead civilizations. It takes a hundred thousand years to reach the nearest star, and many hundreds of millions of years to reach the edge of the Milky Way galaxy. So it makes much more sense to send systems with artificial intelligence that are not so sensitive to the hazardous conditions of space, he said. I call these AI astronauts and most likely we will see gadgets that are very intelligent. They might be well ahead of what we have. It might take us a while to figure out what they really are doing here and what they're seeking, but at the same time, we can distinguish them from rocks, natural objects like meteors falling on Earth. We can distinguish them from human-made objects. My dream is to press some buttons on a functional piece of equipment that was manufactured outside of Earth, he wrote at the time. Loeb said he had received an email recently from someone begging him, please don't press a button if you find such a gadget. He basically was worried that it will affect all of humanity, Loeb said. I said, don't worry about it, I will not press any button. It would be just a remarkable discovery to figure out what we uncover, because it would represent modernity for us, even though it represents ancient history for the senders. We wish Loeb the very best. Retrieving technology from another world will be the biggest discovery of humanity, and it will open up secrets of the universe like never before. But. If discovered, will it be the first time unearthing an alien technology? On that note, let's talk about the out-of-place artifacts, a.k.a. Uparts. Uparts sometimes appear unexpectedly among ancient ruins when there is no evidence of their development in older layers. It has led some researchers to suggest that aliens once visited ancient civilizations and left evidence of advanced technologies in times where human technology had not yet evolved to the point of inventing the devices itself. In 1936, near the village of Kuyut Rabua in Iraq, archaeologists discovered about a dozen curious devices which were dated to the Parthian era, 250 BCE to 225 CE. 
Each was a 5-inch tall terracotta jar with a 1.5-inch wide mouth. It contained a copper cylinder enclosing, but not touching an iron bar. At the top of the jar, asphalt plugs separate the iron rod from the copper. In 1938, the German director of the National Museum of Iraq, Wilhelm Koenig, examined one of the artifacts and speculated that it might have been a galvanic cell or a battery. He proposed that it might have been used to electroplate gold onto silver objects. Later, researchers tested the batteries with grape juice and lemon juice as electrolytes to activate the electrochemical reaction between the iron and the copper. They discovered that the battery did produce a weak voltage. When hooked up in series, the devices produced an increased voltage. How humans 100,000 years ago would have been able to be technologically advanced to. Such a degree as to be able to create them is unknown. Discoveries such as these beg several questions. Did ancient aliens show humans how to build the devices? Was it the advanced aliens that pushed humanity to become the advanced species on our planet? Could the proof of alien existence be hidden in our collective histories? Are these mysterious discoveries evidence of extraterrestrial technology or presence? Do you think the Earth has been bombarded by interstellar meteors countless times in her millions of years of existence? And somehow life would have sailed from afar and thrived here? We don't know, but we sure as hell will keep exploring because that's all we can do in our search for answers. Beyond the Blue.